Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Let's start with your love reading. First, let's shuffle the deck five times and let's see what we have here. I will try to get as many details as possible. But keep in mind, this is a general reading and this may or may not resonate with all of you. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, let's start with the overall love energy for you. There's stagnancy, things not moving forward, delays, lots of self-reflection. I think some of you are affecting this delay somehow, but let's see if we can get more details about that in just a minute. Starting with what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of? Yes, this healing process. This lack of uh, communication, not talking, or just wanting to recover and take more rest and heal totally from any connection. What was the main challenge in the past? Somebody was not that deep into this connection, was superficial, I think. They came into this uh, relationship without any intention for something serious. They might have been feeling alone, they just were breaking up with somebody, or they just wanting were wanting or needing attention and there were you i'm not quite sure if you got those signs those red flags but now you want to be more logical you don't want to tolerate any more any misbehavior that's why you don't want to be emotional that much and uh, yes, you are looking this through the lens of the mind, through the lens of logic. And your hope is career, probably for the most of you, wanting to find more financial stability and independence uh, through finances. I think you are a very hardworking person. You work hard on your job, on the love. Uh, but in love especially, it needs more appreciation. You want a person that is more mature, more stable and focused and dedicated at the same time. Now let's see about the current situation. Nine of Cups. I think that if you are worrying, if you are feeling a bit stressed, you need not to worry that much. Just be more conscious and aware that more beautiful things are ahead of you. I think if this was a life of deep valleys and high peaks and those ups and downs. Maybe you have reached the, this lowest point and now you are just uh, climbing this mountain of success, of achievements, of happiness and harmony. That's why I think with this Nine of Cups, it means that you will be in much more uh, harmony and happiness uh, overall, energetically. Now, this does not necessarily mean that you will be in a connection. It means that with a connection or without a connection, you will be much happier. What is something that you need to know right now? Three of Wands. Your wishes are coming true, but you have to be patient. You don't need to rush anything. Everything is at its best pace. Everything is happening uh, how it should be happening and... There's no need to worry, there's no need to rush. Your manifestation dreams will happen, will come true. And it, those might not come the way you may have expected exactly, but that energy, that feeling uh, will be there. What are the good news? Despite all those Nine of Cups, Three of Wands that were already good news. Okay, and finally, finally, there will be a serious partner for you. I see marriage or long-term serious commitment with somebody. I have another Taurus here. I have uh, Pisces, water is here, earth, and maybe another earth, and air. But Taurus, Pisces is emphasized. Taurus and water signs. So commitment, stability. Now let's see about the person that is on your mind. Let's see what are their energies towards you. They want to communicate. Or they have been thinking a lot about talking, but they are not doing that. They are walking very slowly. Why are they doing that? Because they want to avoid another clash there or 
big dramas. Somehow this person does want to find the perfect moment to reach out and talk to you because they don't want to destroy this completely. They think they will not be appreciated and understood if they came right now and talk to you. Now, if you're looking for a new person, let's see what are the energies. I think you will have options, um, at least two options, and you will be a bit indecisive about whom to choose. Uh, possibly a fire sign and a Leo. Leo is emphasized here for you. I think you will be a bit indecisive. At least it might seem that way, but you have two good options. No matter wh which option you choose, this will bring happiness with the sun card and success in your love story. So I don't think we can get any better news here. So wish fulfillment, marriage, commitment, choices. And if you're looking for a past person, they want to talk, but they haven't dropped this energetically at least. And if uh, it was not enough, look at what do I have at the bottom of the deck? Ten of cups, long-term harmony, happiness, and stability. Building a family, uh, creating a legacy with the uh, person of your dreams with a person of your heart so if this reading resonated with you and if you want to know more details and if you want to support the channel the daily free readings i will continue this in the extended with more details about those two last spreads about the person that is on your mind and about the new person that is coming towards you i will talk about feelings future actions uh, the possible outcomes uh, the energies who is coming towards you general advice more um, more details, hope, hopefully more insights about this main reading. So the extended video is in the description box below if you are interested and if you want to support the channel. Thank you in advance. See you the next reading and bye for now.